Who, who, who? I'm a hillbilly. Hi guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob, and here is our monster. Okay, he's all painted up, guys. He has about eight coats of different colors of green. So it gives him that, uh, I guess, camouflage look, I guess. He's dark and light and dark and light. So yeah, there he is, guys. He's all done. Look, I signed him. Right there. Right there, I signed him. See it? Right on his tuchus. He's got scales on his back. Yep, he's been mod podged. So he is done and completed and ready to go into competition with that Jordy Johnson over there, Carbon Fusion. Yeah. All right. So there he is. There's our monster. He's done. He looks much better in person than he does on the camera because you can really see the highs and lows. I guess you can kind of see it across his nose there. He's light and dark. So that's him. Okay, so what are we working on today? Well, last night I kind of prototyped the owl. Woo! Woo! Yes, owl. Woo! Yeah, you. Woo! The owl. Woo! Be quiet, you two. Okay, so why are you carving an owl? Well, you guys remember? Jordy sent me this here wood spirit. Right? So, we're making an owl to go in the hole. Yep, that's what we're doing. So, that's our prototype owl. And we've got a piece of wood around here. To make another owl. So. Here we go. We're going to make another owl guys. So let me get things set up. And I'll be right back with you. Alright. Okay guys. Here's that owl. And we're doing a little drum work on him. We're just kind of rounding them over. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get the first part of it. I did some knife work. Uh carving them down a little bit but somehow the bracket on my overhead camera mount moved on me so the whole carving thing with the knife was all you could see was the bottom of my hands and me talking and that's no fun just watching me talk so um, this is where I picked up at we went to the Dremel and basically we're just going to shape his head With the Dremel, we're using that, uh, oh, saber tooth straight bit. A saber tooth, uh, coarse straight bit. And we're just kind of fleshing them out, getting them blocked in, right? Rounding them over and all that kind of good stuff like that. Yeah. So, uh, no video yesterday. I got. Got sucked into uh, going shopping for food. And I'll tell you guys, Old Mother Hubbard's cupboard was bare. Uh, we got a store called Myers here. And uh, we went there and it's pretty, pretty picked over. So uh, I ended up going to the, the butcher store to get some, uh, get some pig meat and some, uh, ground up cow and yeah all them animals and then uh i still got some deer meat so we should be sitting pretty good anyway that was my adventure yesterday seeing all these people running around with dust masks on thinking that the it's going to protect protect them from germs the mask barely protect you from dust I did find a couple bucks blowing around in the parking lot, though. 
So that was a bonus, right? Found a couple three dollars blowing around in the parking lot. Somebody must have. It was windy, windy, windy yesterday here. It's like a hurricane. And cold. Man, is it cold. It's cold right now. I was just outside. My dog, uh, the shop shop uh, inspector's water bowl is frozen solid like a hockey puck. So I'm going to have to get her. Well, she's inside now anyway, so she's probably drinking out of the toilet. Crazy dog. I give her a big bowl of nice cold water, and she still thinks she's got to go stick her head in the toilet. So I keep the lid down. The other day, she had the lid up and had her head in there. And I'm like, what are you doing, dog? And she looks at me. Her face is all dripping wet. And then she wants to give you a big old kiss, right? I don't think so. Keep your sloppy lips to yourself, puppy. So, yeah, we're just trying to make this guy a little rounder. Get everything smoothed out. We started out on the corner, on a corner, guys. This is a piece of one-by-one one square pine. Uh, it's about six inches long. We're only using about two and a half inches of it. I decided to leave it long, so I had a handle to hang on to this owl. Yeah. I can't get over how cold it is out there. The other day it was 50 degrees. Last night it was like 10. I think the best place to be on a day like today is in the covers watching TV. Oh, yeah. The only good thing about cold days like this is ham and cabbage. Yep, that's what I had for dinner. We made ham and cabbage. Over at the uh, butcher store, they had picnic hams on sale for 99 cents a pound. And that's one thing Myers did have. They had cabbages for 38 cents a pound. So for about 12 bucks, I got a ham and cabbage dinner with potatoes. And the shop inspector's happy because she got a great big old ham bone out of the deal. Okay, here we are. We're going to start cutting the horns in on this guy, all right? So we come down on an angle. Away from the horn. And we're just shaping them up there. I realized that I cut the slope on my face. At too sharp of an angle it should have been flatter I went back and I was looking at some pictures of different owls and uh, yeah I, I found out shortly after that that uh, the slope on the face was too steep it should have been flatter but that's how life works out sometimes but we fixed it So, yep, yeah, that's, that's all we're doing there, guys. Is we're just uh, getting everything in the, into its rough block out shape. I use a lot lighter touch uh, with my Dremel. And believe it or not, this, I think, is an old piece of 2x4 that I had laying out there. Uh, I picked it up. I must have cut it for something. And I picked it up out of the scrap barrel, and I'm like, well, this is pretty light. So, you know, this two but this piece of 2x4 has been around here for a while. Oop, just clipped this freaking horn off. So, uh, where was I going with that? Oh, yeah. So, I measured it, you know, one by one, cut it on the bandsaw one by one, and I wasn't quite sure what kind of wood it was until I the dust off the bandsaw, you could smell that pine. So, it was so light, I thought it was, uh, basswood but then i got looking at it and i'm like that grain is just way too too wide for it to be basswood right so uh i believe it's just an old piece of super dry super old two by four i had laying around here but hey it's carving really nice so that just goes to show you don't gotta be basswood okay guys so okay, this that's, is the owl that's we where wound i ended up with. that and this is uh Come almost here, finished this Ooh, guy here you. That's our owl. And he fits. I used a uh, old 7.62 by 54R right our, uh, our wood spirit's head. Rifle okay. round. 
um, empty casing to the make his eyes. The first part of carving this guy didn't come out so good. He was out of focus and this and that and the other thing. So we gave you a little bit of the Dremel carving. So. And uh, basically we just have to go back and put his wing feathers in and get them painted up. So that's what we have left to do on them. So I'm going to show you a little bit of high speed air tool feathering, I guess. So, uh, yeah, let's go on with that. Okay. So I think we'll, uh, I think their upper feathers only come down about, oh, that far, I think. And then they got those long feathers like that. And we'll go over here and do the same thing. Upper feathers. Something like that. And then the long sweeping feathers back. So let's fire up this little air tool here. And we will give them those back here. Make sure we're in focus, yeah. yeah. Okay, we should be good. All right, so we'll give them those. Uh, and then pin feathers down there, I guess. Something like that. These are mostly going to be hidden in his head, in our uh, wood spirit's head. We're going to have to glue them into place. Something like that. Do a little undercut on them. Looks like these guys need to get a little deeper. Like that there. We'll do the same thing over here. Like that, and we'll go ahead and uh We'll cut in our swoopy, our longer swooping feathers. Like that, and we'll just come back in and undercut them. He got his little talons cut in on his feet already. And they're overhanging, so they overhang the uh, the hole in that guy's head. Oh, 
a little fringe around his neck right here. Okay. So that's about it for feathering this bird. Our uh, our little owl here. Okay, and uh, we I started out with a prototype owl. All right, and I did some change into this one to make this one. So there he is. And then of course this is an owl that I made more of a cartoon type owl here. So, um, tomorrow, I think I will give you guys a full tutorial on how I made this out. This is a piece of basswood. This is a piece of pine, guys, that it was out in the garage, okay? Uh, so, basically, I just have to paint him up and stick him in my wood spirit. And we'll use a little... Uh, probably some epoxy or something to glue them in on the wood spirit and then we can hang up our wood spirit and we don't have to, to touch him again. He'll be done. Done, done, done. Maybe give him a little sanding. It's a little rough back here yet. But that'll be it, guys. Um, sorry I didn't do the full thing on this, but uh, when I started carving this guy, the camera was way off. I don't know. Somehow my camera overhead camera thing got moved. So all you could see was my hands and me, me yapping. So that's him. That's our little owl that's going in our wood spirit head. And tomorrow, I don't think I have anything going on. So tomorrow we will hit this piece of basswood. And um, I'm going to try showing you how I did this. If you're interested... Uh, leave some leave me a comment if you want to see it now if not we'll move on to something else so if you're interested in it now or if you're interested in having seeing me carve anything let me know and uh we'll try getting to it we'll try getting it carved i know uh right now i've got a list of stuff to carve but i just wanted to get this little owl guy done so the wood spirit was off my mind and he'll be all done. I can hang him up. Okay? So share, subscribe, and like. As you do, share, subscribe, and like. Hit that bell. And we will get back to you. And we will see you on the next one. Carve something awesome. Be awesome. And guys, be awesome to each other. With all this stuff that's flying around. This virus and all that crap. Uh, okay? And be safe. Stay home. Don't get sick. All right? And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Just Carve Rob saying bye.